remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? After all of that drama, Lil Fizz and April Jones has broken up. Fellas, I'm about to lace you up with some million dollar game. Ladies, you can listen in because you can use this information to pass on to your sons or your brothers or your uncles and cousins, even friends. Let me unpack this thing first and give you the backstory. So Lil Fizz and Omarion was in a group together called B2K. Very successful group. Omarion meets a girl named April Jones. They fall in love. They have children. They break up. Lil Fizz picks up the baton and runs with it enters a relationship with April Jones and he's hanging out with Omarion's kids. He's basically playing the role of daddy, taking pictures, cupping up butt, posting it on Instagram, cheesing with his kids, all kind of things. Now Omarion takes it in stride. He does a Vlad interview and comes out smelling like roses, appearing to be unbothered. But he wasn't. He was bothered, but his presentation was straight G. He didn't bash her. He didn't bash him. He would say, hey, good luck. That's y'all life, just leave me out of it. Straight player. Now, Lil Fizz, but well, well, you know, let me just get April Jones out of the way first. Let me just say any woman that would come between uh, bandmates like that, that were not just bandmates but brothers, like friends like that, she ain't worth it at all. So that's out of the way. Now let's get to Lil Fizz. Lil Fizz broke the code. He did something that a number of men would probably have done had they had the opportunity. Had sex with his homeboy's woman. These are, I wouldn't even say men, but I'll say males. And I say males because they're unlearned. A man knows boundaries. He knows that there are certain lines that you just don't cross. Where I'm from, what Lil Fizz did could get you put on the ground. That can get you a whole lot of hurting, like them old folks used to say, boy, you gonna get boy gonna get a hurting. That can get you a whole lot of hurting. A move like that. I can't even imagine. Dating somebody or, you know, having some type of relations with a woman that Brad has been with. Couldn't even imagine it. I ain't built like that. But furthermore, when it comes to my money, I don't allow nothing to get in front of it. That don't mean that I love money more than I love my my children or I love the woman that I'm with or whatever, that ain't what it means. It means that I just don't allow anything to get in the way of my bread. You see, specifically when it comes to controlling you know, my urges and things like that, I don't even have an urge for one of my homeboys, women, but especially somebody that I'm doing business with. I would not have sex with the woman, with my homeboy's woman that I'm doing business with. 
I'm not going to blow my bag because I can't control my private part. I'm not going to blow my bag. Anybody that's doing business with me, they ain't got nothing to worry about if their woman is with me. She can be in that room butt naked. And I know some of y'all saying, she, not me. That's you. But me, I'm speaking for me. I'm not wired like that. I'm going to walk out the room. I'm going to get up out Hey, what you doing? Hey, 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 hey. I'm get on up out of that. And, you know, it, it's, it's one thing, you know, to be loyal. It's a whole other thing to mess your bag up for some sex. It's millions, billions of women in the world. You really, you got to really pick that one? Lil Fizz is an attractive dude. He can find, oh, and, and he's in a band, B2K. He still got, the, the, he still got a lot of young chicks out there that think he the shit. The dude could have picked any chick out there. It's a whole lot of bad chicks out there. But he just had to have Omarion's baby mother. And he jeopardized his bag. So, fast forward, they were supposed to be going on that millennial tour together to get some M's, but after he did that, Amario was like, okay, that's how you want to be. You know what? You can have her. I'm going to go get this bag by myself, since you want to play like that. And Omario was right, because I wouldn't help a sucker get money that crossed me either. No, we can't get no money together. You cross me, we can't get no money together. You're not finna do me, and I'm gonna help you get paid. That's not going to happen. So Omarion gets the last laugh. He got to stick it to him on a real level, on a G level. Because now, trust you me, the Fizz can act cool about it all he wants. But his ass is over there suffering because he ain't got nothing else where he can go out there and get that B2K kind of money. He, 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 not gonna, he, he ain't got nothing else where he can go out there and get that kind of money. He didn't just blow the bag for himself. He blowed it for the other group members. Nah, I wouldn't do it. So, and I know dudes that, I, I know dudes that have blowed, you know, million dollar bags because they couldn't keep their, their hands off their business partner women now i am the cleanup man let's get that straight i am the clean up man but i have a little thing called discernment i'm not a fool i'm not going to put myself in a situation where i blow my bag because I couldn't control my impulses to sleep with one of my homeboys, my business partner, woman. I couldn't do it. So I'm telling y'all right now, just put it in your mind before you ever get to that type of, in that type of situation. There's certain things that you have to have convictions about. And you say to yourself, you write it down if you have to. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. I'm not going to do this. You'll never catch me doing this. Put that on that list. I will never have sex with my business partner, woman. Now, I am the cleanup man. But I don't rock like that. I wouldn't dare bite the hand that feed me. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?